What's up, Raging Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Jr. You're watching a Rage and Ronin review. Got a review for you. I saw Alita Battle Angel twice in IMAX 3D. It is a cyberpunk action thriller based off of a manga titled Gunem, which eventually got adapted into an anime called Battle Angel Alita. And now the Hollywood version, the live action version, is written and produced by James Cameron. James Cameron actually purchased the, the film rights to Gunam, like I think around 20 years ago after director Guillermo del Toro brought the, um, the manga to his attention. Uh, he probably said to him, hey, Jim, I think you're gonna like this. I think you're gonna think this is pretty cool. And then he thought it was really cool, so he bought the film rights and then he eventually wanted to get the film made. And now it's finally made 20 years later. And the thing is that he's been working so busy, he's been so busy working on the Avatar sequels that he couldn't actually take on the director duties. So therefore he handed it off to director Robert Rodriguez, which I think, which I, I personally believe is a really, really great choice. Not only after I finished watching the film, but even before I watched the movie, I, I just knew that this was gonna be a very special film. I mean, he worked on Desperado and From Dust Till Dawn, Spy Kids, which I've never seen. But anyways, the fact is that Robert Rodriguez and Jim Ca James Cameron they're both big nerds like and they know they're, they're like they got major major nerd cred so I had total faith with them working on Alita Battle Angel and I knew that I had a feeling that this was going to be the greatest uh, uh, live action film that's based off of uh, Japanimation or anime um, and uh that's what ended up happening. They ended up making the greatest live action film that's based off of anime, not Ghost in the Shell. This film is it right here. This is an awesome film. That's why I ended up watching it twice in IMAX 3D. And this was awesome, not only because of the amazing visuals, but also the film has a lot of heart and soul. And that's all because of the actors, namely Rosa Salazar as Alita, the title character. She really brings her A game. And not only that, she really makes the story so immersive. Like you're really engaged and mesmerized, not only by her performance, but everything about her, the way she looks, her performance capture, and, and um, just her overall performance. It's emotional and, Suddenly you are invested into this character. You want to know everything about her and then you are invested in everything that happens in this story and Then of course which brings you to the action which is like mind-blowing out of this world like a visual spectacle like none You've ever seen before the from the martial arts sequences and all this crazy stunt work to the motorball battle the motorball competition holy cow this is an action-packed ride. And then you got Robert Rodriguez directing and this film just flows at such a brisk pace. Like there's never a dull moment in this film. From the moment Alita gets discovered to the very, very end of this, the, like the triumphant end of the film, like this movie just really keeps your attention from beginning to end. And it's everything. It's the direction, the actors, and all the amazing production design. Like. It's just wow. It's it's like on the same level as Avatar. Like it really blows your mind with like the amazing immersive three D uh, visual visuals. It looks so amazing. You know James Cameron. Like this film is pretty much James Cameron's baby. But Robert Rodriguez, it's also his vision. Like he he was the storyteller in this movie. But you can see that Jim James Cameron's fingerprints are all over this film. This may have well been directed by James Cameron. After all, they used like pretty much all the technology that James Cameron developed for Avatar, he improved upon that same technology and he handed it off to Robert Rodriguez. Like the 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 uh, 3D fusion camera, the simulcam, and also the performance capture technology. Like all that stuff they used in Avatar, he, he get, basically gave all his toys to Robert Rodriguez and says, hey, knock yourself out. <laughs> And then he did and he gave us a film that totally knocked it out of the park like this is an amazing film Like it's a really great film. It's also got a really great story It's it's kind of like a, a coming-of-age story where you get this cyborg teenager Well, she's not really a teenager. She's just a couple hundred years old, but she's like just coming into her own She's trying to figure out where she belongs in this uh, in this world and she's trying to figure out who she is and once she has makes that self-discovery a lot of crazy stuff happens and it's just really exciting from really great action choreography to just amazing uh, emotional performances that really captivate your hearts. So like this is an awesome movie. 
I'm gonna give it an eight and a half out of ten. Now the movie, the reason why I don't think this film is is like perfect, it's near perfect. But reason why I don't think it's perfect is because they 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 do too much in setting it up for a sequel. Like there's just so much rich backstory and history that goes into this story but we only get a small taste of it it's like a tease like they only mention it in like a few sentences and then that's that and then you're left wondering well i was left wondering like what is this who is that what was this all about and they talked about this but they never like covered upon that like what was that all about so like i felt that they really put a bit of an effort to to really set it up for a sequel and i'm not really a big fan of that but regardless they still made an awesome film no matter what because at the end of the day, it's all about entertainment and having a good time. I had an, a fun time. I had a really great time watching this movie and I think you will too. I, I've read a lot of YouTube comments on the trailers and a lot of people, the general consensus is that people love this movie and it's really worth, worth checking out on the big screen and in 3D. So go check it out. This movie is just full of heart. It's not like Ghost in a Shell, which was totally soulless, which is irony because it's about a ghost in a shell. <laughs> Anyways, but this film is like the complete opposite and it's the film film that that Ghost in the Shell wanted to be but like James Cameron James Cameron and Robert Rodriguez they really really created the definitive um uh like live action film based off of anime it is awesome so make sure you go check it out anyways that's all I got to say in this review I hope you guys enjoyed it as always if you enjoyed this video you want to see more make sure you hit the like button subscribe to YouTube channel like me on Facebook the Rage Nation also follow me on Twitter Rage Nation my name is Alex thanks for watching see you next time peace